Kings Nail Peoples. It is the calm after the storm. So, there we are. Hi. Let's get a good angle. There we are. Hi. Hi, Melissa. So today's Nails Over Coffee on December 14th is coming to you from outside because this is what would be known, what up, what would be known as the calm after the storm in Pacific Northwest terms is it's a really pretty sunny day out here. Let me see if I can get a good angle so you guys could just see sun and grass and not the parking lot. Okay, there we are. Yeah, I wish we had a view right over my shoulder would be Mount Rainier if um, there wasn't still some haze overhanging the mountains. So bummer. But today, in the holiday spirit, we are drinking out of the Happy Holidays Disney Travel Cup. And I don't have a whole lot to show you guys on screen today, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to just pop outside and get a little sun on my day off. So, um, things that we are going to go over today is the a little quick recap of the NTR broadcast from last night, um, a couple of updates on some things, and a... Um, some really cool crystals from um, Swarovski. So, all right, so um, first things first, recapping on what's going on with, um, well, I'm glad the sun went away. That makes it much easier to broadcast. Um, Gary Weltman, so from our soft landings um, people, um, if you don't know, Gary uh, fell through the roof of the warehouse there at Soft Landings uh, last week, and he's been in ICU, and he's had some brain bleeds, and he's had some problems. Um, there's a GoFundMe page started. I know that the blog, um, uh, Nail Talk Radio, has uh, a link up to the GoFundMe page. I know Michelle Davignon from LCN posted it on hers. Uh, I will try to track it down and post it in the Nail Group, if you're a member of the Nail Group. Um, so yeah, that's, I don't like the sun there. Okay, there we go. So, um, but apparently Gary is, um, slowly, slowly, slowly showing progress. Apparently Kathy posted on her Facebook page that she mentioned to Gary that the nurse that he had was very attractive and good looking. And, uh, he opened his eyes and said, oh yeah, you know, so apparently he's, um, he's, he's in there and he was happy the Browns won. So he's in there. He's, he's doing all right. Um, so we keep pulling for him to improve. Um, so NTR recap, uh, last night, Winnie, who, um, the next top nail artist, Winnie, uh, was on nail talk radio. Uh, but before she got on, we had, um, our rundown of show, um, topic or show classes for 2016. Uh, we had tweet street with Jen, which talked about, uh, some OPI and SE polishes. And then we had Ruben's nail sound off, which was really entertaining. Um, <laughs> Ruben's, uh, nail ribbon sound off was about, um, social media posts. So I found this really entertaining. Um, he talked about a couple of things. He talked about, uh, content. Um, so don't post the same picture every day. We do nails all the time. So make sure that what you're posting is current work. Um, uh, logo and he talked about watermarks being bad like having your logo over the top of the nails and while I agree that you need to make sure that it's not obscuring the nails I do think it's important that we still make sure that our photos are logoed somehow whether that be on the backdrop behind the pictures or a opaque faded um, more transparent um, watermark over the nails so that you can still see the nails, but it's hard to hijack the pictures of our work because anybody can capture it, save it as a JPEG, and then some unscrupulous people will use it as their own. Oh, we don't like those people. So, um, but being careful about the placement of the logo. Um, Shine, he talks about how, oh, the sun's coming back out. Woo! He talks about how um, the nails are dripping with oil <laughs> instead of um, just putting a little bit of oil on or wiping it back off. Um, and Or things like the nails and cuticles are dripping with oil and the epinichium, but the rest of the hands are really super dry, so it looks really tacky. So um, making sure that you make sure the whole hand looks good. And then, um, oh, placement. 
he told a really, really funny story about placement. So I will leave that funny story to you when you listen to the broadcast. Don't be drinking anything when Ruben's talking. Um, but the point being is be aware of your background when you are taking photos for posting on social media. Just like right now, I had to make sure that you guys were seeing the pretty view of my courtyard, not the pretty view of my parking lot for my apartment complex, um, since I'm broadcasting from my deck today. Um, same thing with placement on your pictures. Make sure that what can be seen, we've all seen the pictures on social media, you know, the bathroom mirror pictures that we go, eh, you probably should have cleaned up the bathroom before you did that. Yeah, same kind of thing with nails. When you're taking pictures of nails, be mindful of the background, be mindful of what's going on behind you in the salon, the cleanliness of your salon or what you can see in the background, those types of things because, well, nobody likes the crazy social media posts that go viral for all the wrong reasons. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Ruben's uh, nail sound off was fantastic uh, on Nail Talk Radio last night. Um, also, I need to make mention that Brayden uh, did in fact say Willamette correctly and that I will be posting a picture later today to the nail group and my Facebook page and Nail Talk Radio wishing Brayden day 18 of his 30 for 30 countdown to Dirty 30. Um, so Winnie on next, uh, next up nail artist, Winnie, she, her interview was fantastic. Like it was by Athena's own admission, probably the best interview of 2015. It was super detailed. It was super casual. It was super fun. We really got to know her as far as, um, her favorite mediums, her favorite, um, artists that she likes, um, things she likes doing, whether she wills, wears nails or doesn't, what she prefers to wear. Like it was uh, viewers, um, and well, I guess I shouldn't say viewers, listeners sent in all of their questions to ask her and Braden had sorted through those. So there was a ton of questions to ask her from everybody. And so the, um, you definitely want to check it out. If you're a fan, she's only been doing nails for, um, in Canada here for a couple of years. She originally came from Taiwan. She just does some crazy, fabulous things. She talks about the experience of Next Top Nail Artist, which was kind of a crazy thing. I think we, as we just watch the pictures and stuff go down every week, don't think as much about all the work that goes into them. So um, definitely go to Nail Talk Radio's page, go through Blog Talk Radio. Um, you can also go through their Facebook page and listen to last night's episode. It was really good. Winnie, you did a really, really good job. It was great to listen to you. Um, so other things, real quick bits. Um, the uh, pixie dust nail things from... Um, I know that Gel Essentials um, is where a lot of people I've seen buy them from. They're the Swarovski crystals, but they pour. They're like super fine. So you can like encrust something with crystals. Oh my gosh. If you haven't seen the video, and judging by the fact that it's only had like 2,500 views, you haven't. You have got to see this stuff. It is, oh, there we go. Oh, that's better. It is, oh, there's my coffee cup too. It is, oh my gosh, amazing amazing. You totally, I need some crystal jeweled accent nails. That's all I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Between that and the chrome type um, mirror gel type polishes and everything and crystal nails has one and all that, the chrome effect, plus some crystals. Oh, the stuff that we could do. It's amazing. Um, so um, a couple of other show notes. This won't be a real long show today because I have a pretty long one for you tomorrow. So make sure that you either tune in live uh, at noon Pacific time, which is UTC minus eight if you're not in the States, um, to see what's going on with... I have been doing some crazy amount of research. I swear there isn't a law I don't know anymore between here and Europe and Timbuktu. Um, about cosmetics and cosmetic ingredients. Um, I have signed a non-disclosure agreement uh, with CYO Gel so that I could find out some uh, interesting information about it. Um, I'm waiting on the MSDS still. I don't think I'm going to have it before broadcast tomorrow, but I'm going to broadcast for you on CYO Gel with what I have. Um, 
it's a product that's been out on the U.S. market for 10 days. They're doing a lot of heavy promotion. Even if you choose not to try it, even if you choose not to use it, you're definitely going to see it or hear about it at some point. So let's update you and give you the scoop so you can find out what you're dealing with. And um, don't forget that Friday I will be in surgery. Um, actually at almost exactly the time of my show by luck of the draw. So Nails by Suki, Sakura McLawson will be taking over Nails Over Coffee and will be uh, doing what Suki does best, which is entertaining you guys. Uh, so make sure that you tune in tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, I'm all over the groups trying to find some stuff. It's mostly pictures over the weekend because everybody's so busy. So um, I'll have some of that stuff for you on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, but tomorrow is the CYO Gel Show. Definitely tune in. I've gotten input from Doug Schoon. I've gotten input from um, Bob Giblet over in Germany. I've had some posts up on the Nail Professionals Technical Board. I have researched cosmetic ingredient laws for everywhere. And it's definitely going to be a comprehensive report on CYO gel. We'll just say it that way. All right. So short show for a Monday. Uh, it's Christmas. So I got to put my tree up and do some other fun things on my day off here. I know we all understand that. And uh, so, yes, give me some hearts. Thank you. I think the orange hearts are Melissa, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the hearts. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my holiday coffee, put up a Christmas tree, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the big old CYO gel report. Talk to you later.